In humanity's quest to explore planet Earth, the highest peak above sea level, Mount Everest, standing at 8,848 meters, was easily discovered. However, finding the deepest point on Earth was not as straightforward. While thousands have scaled Mount Everest, only a handful have descended to the deepest point on Earth in the Mariana Trench. This trench, a V-shaped depression in the ocean floor, lies in the Western Pacific Ocean near the Mariana Islands. To reach its deepest point from the surface, one must descend 11 kilometers. To grasp the enormity of this depth, imagine submerging Mount Everest into the trench. It would be completely swallowed, leaving over two kilometers of water above it. For decades, it was believed impossible to reach such depths, let alone find any form of marine life. Yet the discoveries made in the Mariana Trench have profoundly changed our understanding of the ocean's depths. Welcome. Today we'll talk about the deepest place on Earth, the Mariana Trench. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can get our videos as soon as they come out. In an expedition to study the oceans and uncover their depths, the British research vessel HMS Challenger embarked on a four-year mission from 1872 to 1876, covering 112,000 kilometers. The crew used long ropes marked with measurements and weighted with a large piece of metal to measure depths. Every 225 kilometers, they would lower the rope into the water until the weight reached the bottom, and from the marks on the rope, they determined the depth. Despite the difficulty, this was the only method available at the time to measure ocean depths. Upon reaching the Western Pacific near the Mariana Islands, the crew faced an extraordinary surprise. As they lowered the rope, it continued to descend far longer than expected before finally hitting the bottom at 8,000 meters a depth unheard of at the time. This discovery drove scientists to madness with questions about the nature of this deep place. Was it a small pit or a vast abyss? Were there marine creatures living at such depths? And if so, what kind of creatures could survive the extreme pressure and darkness? The Challenger expedition marked the birth of modern oceanography, offering the first real glimpse of the ocean's depths and revealing the existence of deep sea trenches. These trenches form long depressions that can extend for hundreds of meters before flattening out. However, in the western Pacific near the Mariana Islands, the slopes do not end in a flat plain but plunge again into a deep hole, reaching depths of 8,000 meters. These revelations changed our perception of the ocean's depths and opened up new possibilities for the existence of life at such extreme depths. Seventy-five years later, answers began to emerge about the nature of the trench. In 1951, another British research vessel returned to the trench, this time equipped with advanced depth measurement tools and sonar technology. The results were astonishing, revealing that the pit at the ocean's bottom was not just a pit, but part of a colossal trench stretching 2,550 kilometers long and 69 kilometers wide. Moreover, the depth reached by the Challenger, although impressive, was not the deepest point. The southern end of the trench drops another three kilometers, creating the deepest point on Earth, known as the Challenger Deep, named in honor of the original expedition. Despite the importance of these discoveries, questions remained particularly about the presence of life at such depths. The first hint of an answer came from the Soviet vessel Vityaz, in 1958, which reported large numbers of marine creatures at depths exceeding 7,000 meters. Reaching the deepest point on Earth is thousands of times harder than climbing to the highest point due to the extreme pressure, which is over a thousand times greater than at the surface. In 1960, the first human expedition to the trench's deepest point was achieved using the deep sea submersible Trieste. On board were Swiss scientist Jacques Picard, who helped design the submersible, and American naval officer Don Walsh. 
After a descent of about 11 kilometers, taking nearly five hours, they reached the bottom and spent 20 minutes at the deepest point, confirming the presence of fish and strange creatures living comfortably in these extreme conditions. Years later, Jacques Picard's records revealed that halfway down their journey, they encountered a massive cylindrical creature following the submersible. After minutes of observation, it vanished, leaving its nature unknown. Some speculated it might belong to an unknown aquatic civilization, something akin to Aquaman. In 1985, the American ship Glomar Challenger faced a strange incident. While using a probe inside the trench, they recorded bizarre sounds, and the steel cables connected to the device were violently pulled, almost severing them as if attacked by a living creature. After three hours, they finally retrieved the probe, only to find bite marks on it, suggesting an encounter with a sea monster. Officially, it was announced that the probe had hit surrounding mountains, but the crew believed otherwise. This incident led to a theory about the existence of the Megalodon, an enormous extinct shark believed to still live in the depths. The Megalodon, a giant shark reaching lengths of 22 meters, as long as a seven-story building and weighing 45 tons, is considered one of the largest and most powerful predators ever. It supposedly went extinct 1.5 million years ago. However, the discovery of a giant tooth the size of an adult human hand, identified as a Megalodon tooth, reignited speculation about its possible survival in the depths, away from human sight. Adding to this theory, a few years after the incident, a Japanese cargo ship near the Mariana Trench was hit so hard that it capsized, despite stable weather conditions and no rocky obstacles in the area. The Japanese remotely operated vehicle Kaiko, sent to the deepest point of the trench, discovered over 350 species of marine creatures from 1995 to 2003. In March 2012, Canadian filmmaker James Cameron became the second person to reach the Earth's deepest point in a specially designed submersible. Finally, let's talk about how the Mariana Trench was formed. The trench exists because of subduction zones where tectonic plates collide. The Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates floating on pliable rocks due to high pressure and temperatures below. These plates move slowly, ranging from millimetres to centimetres per year. When one plate moves toward another, the denser plate sinks, partly melting due to the high temperatures within the Earth, creating trenches at the subduction zones. Over the last 50 million years, the Pacific Plate has been sliding under the Philippine Plate, forming the Mariana Trench. But why is it the deepest trench in the world? Scientists found a strong correlation between the age of oceanic crust and its depth. The older the crust, the deeper it lies. Samples from the Mariana Trench show it to be over 170 million years old, making it the oldest and deepest point on Earth. Do you think we will ever fully explore the world's oceans?